I have a math workout for you today, but first, let's have a little warm-up. How many ducks do you see in this picture? Don't forget about the hidden ones. There are 15 ducks. Did you find them all? Okay, now count all the flowers. Right, there are 17 of them. Can you spot three differences between these photos? Here they are. And another one. There are three differences again. Do you see them? Okay, here they are. Good job. Okay, now a bit of math for you. Look at this picture. The only number multiplied by itself that gives 25 is 5, so this shape equals 5. This way, the other shape from the second equation is 4. 4 and 6 make 10, so the red circle equals 6. Then, 5 multiplied by 6 gives us 30. This one is similar, but a bit harder, so be very attentive. Okay, three pairs of sneakers make 30, then one pair equals 10, then one cat with a whistle must be 5. In this case, two whistles equal 4, so one whistle is 2. Now the last one, a pair of sneakers is 10. We know that a cat with a whistle is 5, but this kitty doesn't have a whistle. But since a whistle is 2, the cat without a whistle must be 3, and a whistle equals 2. So, it's 10 plus 3 multiplied by 2, which is 16. Ava and Dakota are sisters. When Dakota was 18, Ava was half her age. Now that Dakota is 26, how old is Ava? When Dakota was 18, Ava was 9. So the age difference between the sisters is 9 years. If Dakota is 26 now, then Ava is 17. When Polaris was 16 years old, her mother was 39. If Polaris's mom is twice her daughter's age, how old is Polaris? The age difference between Polaris and her mother is 23 years. That means now, Polaris is 23 and her mom is 46. Yvonne had a big collection of CDs. One day, she decided to clean up her house and counted that she had 172 CDs. She sold them all except for 7 CDs of her favorite singer and 5 CDs of her favorite band. How many CDs does Yvonne have now? Well, if she gave up all but 7 plus 5, it leaves her with 12 CDs. In PE class, all students were standing in a circle. If the 5th student was exactly opposite the 12th student, how many students were in the circle? Between student number 5 and student number 12, there are 6 other students. If these two are opposite each other, then on the other side between them, there are also 6 students. This makes 14 students in the circle. Danica owns a candy store. She sells candy for $0.12 a dozen. How many candy pieces can you get if you have $1? $0.12 for a dozen mean that one candy costs one cent. So if you have a dollar, 
you can get 100 candies. For casting a spell, Flora should put these stones in the correct order. She has four of them, purple, green, red, and blue. The instruction says, 1. The red one only has one stone next to it. 2. The green and purple stones aren't next to each other. 3. The green stone is the last one. Can you help Flora? If the red stone only has one other stone next to it, then it's either the first one or the last one. But since green is the last one, then red is the first one. If the green and purple stones aren't next to each other, then there's the blue stone between them. So, the correct order is red, purple, blue, and green. It was midday. Kaylin was exploring a big local forest. She found an abandoned mansion and entered it. The door closed behind her back and wouldn't open. Oh, no. Kaylin got trapped inside. There were three other doors leading to freedom, but there was a catch. Behind the first door, there was a huge pit that would take her miles underground. Behind the second door, there was a magnifying glass that concentrated sunlight and burned everybody and everything that entered. Behind the third door, there was a hungry and dangerous lion that would eat anybody and anything that entered. Uh oh. How can Kaylin escape? Kaylin should wait until sunset. When the sun goes down, the second door with the magnifying glass won't be dangerous anymore. Amelia, Belle, Chloe, and Della are identical quadruplets who always prank people. One day, one of the girls' teachers had to let Amelia leave the class early. She had a doctor's appointment. But the woman wasn't sure which girl was Amelia. The quadruplets had decided to help her. Here is what they said. Amelia is one of the girls standing in the middle. No, Amelia is one of the girls standing on the sides. I'm Amelia. I'm not Amelia. Three girls lied and one told the truth. Who is Amelia? If Amelia is the first girl, then two girls told the truth, the second and the fourth ones. If Amelia is the second girl, then the first and the fourth girls told the truth. If Amelia is the third girl, then the first and the third ones told the truth. But if Amelia is the fourth girl, then only the second girl told the truth. So, Amelia must be the fourth girl. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. She found a witch's house petted her black cat and asked the witch to send her home. The witch wanted to play a game. If Esme won, she'd send her home. But if Esme lost, she'd have to stay with the witch forever. We'll be saying numbers between 1 and 10. The next player will have to choose a number that's between 1 to 10 greater than the previous one. The first person to say 50 wins. You can start. How can Esme win? If she wants to say 50, she needs the witch to say a number between 40 and 49. So, before 50, she has to say 39. If she wants to say 39, the witch has to say a number between 29 and 38. So, Esme has to say 28, and before that, 17, and before that, 6. So, Esme must start with 6, and then say 17, 28, 39, and 50. Cassidy woke up in a dungeon and couldn't remember what happened to her. She needed to get out, but the door was locked and required a password. Can you guess what the password is? Every next number is made by moving the last digit of the previous four to the front. So, the password must be... Four, seven, two, eight. Mrs. Davies is an elderly lady telling a story of her life. After I lived one-fourth of my life, I got my first car. I married one-twelfth of my life later. 
One-sixth of my life later, I started a business. One-fourth of my life later, I got my first granddaughter. She just turned 18. How old is Mrs. Davies? Let's say Mrs. Davies is X years old. One-fourth of her life, till she gets her first car, X is 4. Then we add 12 till her marriage, X till opening her business, 4 till the birth of her granddaughter, and finally, 18 years from then till now. It should all be equal to X. If you solve this equation, you'll figure out that X is equal to 72. So, Mrs. Davies must be 72 years old. Esme was walking in the forest, and you know what? She didn't get lost this time. She knew how to get home, but the other road led to the witch's house, and the girl recently came up with a cool riddle for the witch. So, Esme decided to pay her a visit. She offered a deal. If the witch couldn't solve her riddle, Esme would get her cat. The witch agreed, and Esme gave her a square piece of paper, 4 inches by 4 inches, with a total area of 16 square inches. Turn it into a square with a total area of 8 square inches without a ruler. How can the witch do it? The witch should fold the four corners of the square towards the middle. This way, she'll get a square that is exactly twice as small as the original one. Apparently, the witch gets to keep her cat this time. There's a box filled with balls of different colors. Five red ones, eight blue ones, and eleven purple ones. Allison has a tricky task. Blindfolded, she has to keep picking up balls until she's sure that she has balls of at least two different colors. What's the minimum number of balls she should pull out of the box? In the worst case scenario, Allison will be picking up balls of the same color until there are no more of them left in the box. The majority of balls are purple, so if she picks up a purple ball every single time, it'll be 11 balls. And only after that will she get a ball of a different color, so she should pick up 12 balls. <laughs>